Hi, I am Melissa from Medical English Melissa. I'm a nurse practitioner and a midwife from the United States, and I'm also a TEFL certified English teacher. And today I'm doing Medical English five minute clinic. So in the next five minutes, I'll be giving you helpful phrases that you can use when taking a patient history. And this is so that you can practice your English on the go, whether it's on your commute to work or on your lunch break. And then if you have more time later, there is an included study guide so you can practice this on your own and become more familiar with the terms. So if you want to get that study guide, you can go to my website listed below and click on the tab resources and then you can download it for free. So let's get straight into it. Today I'm talking about the most common questions that you'll want to ask if you're taking a history for a patient with uncontrolled diabetes or whom you suspect has uncontrolled diabetes. And so we'll be talking about the three P's that you might already know. So polyphagia, polydipsia, and polyuria. And so the first one is polyphagia, excessive hunger. So if we were to ask a patient about this, we could ask, have you been hungrier than usual? And the first thing I want to point out with this phrase is, have you been? So we're using the verb to be, not the verb to have, which is a different thing in the English language than many other languages. So we don't have hunger in English, we are hungry. So you're going to say, have you been? And then the verb would be hungry. So hungrier, the superlative of hungry, hungrier than usual. Have you been hungrier than usual? And another way that you can say this is by simply changing it a little bit and you can say, have you been hungrier than normal? Another way that you can say this is, have you noticed? And this is a phrase that I think is really important that you should write down and memorize. Have you noticed is going to come up time and time again whenever you're taking a patient history because you're asking them, to reflect and see if they remember certain symptoms. So have you noticed? And that prompts them to think about, have I experienced that? Has that been something I've noticed? So have you noticed that you've been eating more than usual? That's another way that you could say this. So have you noticed that you've been eating more than usual? You could also say, have you noticed you've been eating more than normal? These are all okay ways to say this. Okay. So let's move on to polydipsia. Polydipsia is excessive thirst. So you can ask a patient, have you been, again, with a have you been, have you been thirstier than usual? Have you been thirstier than usual? You could also say, have you been thirstier than normal? Same thing. And then again with a have you noticed, have you noticed, and you can say, have you noticed you've been thirstier than usual, but I'm gonna throw in another way. Have you noticed you've been drinking more liquids than usual? Or have you noticed that you've been drinking more fluids than usual? And I bring this up because I wanna point out that I didn't say, have you been drinking more? I added in fluids or liquids. And that's because often in English when we ask the question, have you been drinking more? By default, that can actually refer to alcohol habits, which is another question that we might ask as a clinician, right? Have you been drinking more? And you'll want to know about their alcohol habits, but in this case, we're asking about something different. We're asking about their thirst. And so, have you been drinking more fluids than usual? Uh, it's good to clarify there, unless the patient is super clear on the context. Okay, and that leads us to our next one, which is polyuria. So polyuria is excessive urination. You can use a very similar phrasing to what we did before. Have you noticed you've been urinating more than usual? You could also say, have you noticed you've been urinating more frequently? That works too. Um, you don't have to say the have you noticed. You can say, have you been urinating more frequently than previously? There's another way to say it. And the last one that I'm gonna add in is using the verb to pee. So this is a casual term, this isn't a medical term, but sometimes you'll have patients that won't know the word urinate. And so it's okay to say to pee. It's 
casual but not rude. So you might want to use it if you're speaking to a child or someone who just doesn't know the word urinate. Have you been peeing more often than usual? Have you been peeing more often than normal? Have you been peeing more frequently? These all work. So you can say to pee. So what I'm hoping you get out of this is that there's many ways that you can ask this. And so long as you have your verbs right and your adjectives right, you can really play, play around with how you word things. Uh, again, you can find the study guide on my website under resources to practice more. And if you want to test out a new phrase and see if you're saying it correctly, you can comment below and I'll respond and let you know um, if you need to make any changes to your grammar to say it correctly. So have a good day and I will see you next time.